Oh hey, if you want to see a bare naked lady turned into a bad bitch, you're gonna love today's episode. Our favorite friend. Say hi. Wah. Welcome back to Laugh Cry DIY. I am your host, Katie, and I am experiencing a total miracle, which is rain in LA. So it is wet, it is loud, and it is very early in the morning, but we are gonna do what we do every week on this channel, and that is craft our way through depression. So let me introduce you to my little friend. Um, this little girl, don't call her a girl, this beautiful woman. It's a very simple plant stand, side table, little end table, whatever you want to call it. But there's only one problem. She's so boring. She's got these beautiful mid-century lines. I think I'm gonna go in that direction, but I do wanna add a little something fun, maybe a pop of color. And after I do, she may or may not appear in an upcoming room makeover. So let's start. She is a little bit of a mess, so we're gonna wipe her down, clean her up. Here comes the nightmare. Perfect timing. Oh, you guys. I love her. I hate how much I love her. Okay, bye. We're getting sandy. We're gonna stain these legs. I wanna do it a little bit darker. I actually saw a lot of these simple tripod end tables that were just like simple walnut. I feel like every brand makes them. That's cool. So I'm starting with a 120 and then I'm gonna go to a 220. And we're just wiping down with a little damp rag. I am loving this rain so much. I'm so jealous of other DIYers who don't live in Southern California. I feel like there's a lot of Canadian DIYers uh, and they're always like, oh no, it rained outside today and I'm always like, sweating my ass off in my mom's garage, painting furniture. Alrighty, next up, we're hitting her with a pre-stained wood conditioner. This just helps the stain set into the legs a little bit more. Nope, 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 out. Hey guys, I'm about to hit the wood with my favorite bronzer. Um, this is Special Walnut 224. Love it, goes on smooth, stays all day. And we're wiping her down. And round two, uh, it dried a little light, but we want it a little darker, a little richer, so hopefully this will help us do that. Hey look, only has two legs. Where did the third one go? This cutie has dried overnight. So we're just gonna hit the legs with a little hit of oil modified polyurethane that is also water-based. I don't know, it's the top coat I use for things like this. Polyurethane is on and now we are about to get crazy. I wanted to do something colorful. I've just been feeling bold colors lately. And luckily, I have some leftover paint from some previous projects. So I was very inspired to do some sort of kind of like atomic pop art bold pattern design. Um, and I have been thinking and struggling for days just trying to figure out what I would want to do. And I finally came up with it. And basically, we're going to do a kind of like circular molecular design. Is that science? I don't know. We're going to start with a bold power color which is one of my favorite power colors, which is this gorgeous teal. Um, this is actually the color we used for uh, Deborah's kitchen makeover. Click here. Um, it is Acapulco Cliffs by a paint company. Also, this top is actually technically 
cardboard. <laughs> um, and it had a little bit of water damage, so I just want to do like a thick coat of like this latex paint just to like smooth it out. Um, you can't even really sand because it starts to disintegrate. So it, we're just keeping it smooth and we're gonna do a really busy pattern so that if there is any texturized inconsistency, no one will ever know. Let's get intimate. <laughs> Alrighty, top is good, top is beautiful, and now we are gonna trace on our design and start painting it over. And basically what I've done here is I created like a cross section, and I'm gonna use this cup and I'm gonna trace out this kind of molecular pattern. Alrighty, we got them all there. And now I'm just gonna go in by hand. We're gonna do a white line to connect each circle and I'm literally just gonna freehand it because you know your girl does not have patience to perfectly line that up with tape or a ruler or whatever. Alrighty, next up we're gonna fill in the circles. I'm gonna do a lighter uh, shade of blue, kind of like a sky blue and we're gonna get a little tone on tone kind of mix it up thing. All right, I hit this with a second coat off camera, so these are nice and opaque. And for the second part, we're gonna continue our beautiful design. And for this, you're gonna need a few really important products. Um, number one, my go-to, um, L'Oreal's Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock Powder. Um, this is a really great powder when you need to draw a circle, um, just right in the middle. And then the second thing you're gonna need is one of my other go-to products, and that is the top of a cocktail shaker, a mini one, it's really important. You're gonna use the little narrow part um, to draw your second circle. And then lastly, you definitely wanna add some kind of like depth and dimension to this. So you're gonna wanna get your um, milk stick blush in um, shade um, Perk and you're gonna use that as your center circle. And then you have this kind of perfect target pattern and then you can paint that in. Now I could have chosen a less complicated pattern and I could have kept it as is, it's still super cute, but I wanted to make my life harder and I wanted to have to do a lot of things by hand. Um, also, side note, I chose this color scheme because it's the paints I had on hand. But I like projects like this that make you be creative with what you have. So I used one paint, added white to it, made it lighter, doing a little tone on tone kind of thing. And right now I'm gonna add the white part into these like kind of target rings so that um, I can go over the white part with dark paint later instead of having to go and clean it up by doing white paint over dark paint and then you have to use like a million coats. This is my MAC 259 brush. Alrighty, four, five, 12 coats of white later, um, we did it. And now I'm gonna go in back in with this darker, beautiful uh, mermaid shade and we're gonna do that outside circle and it's hopefully gonna look cute. And that is our final pattern. I'm basically treating this like concealer and I'm like cleaning up that edge. And very last thing, we're gonna hit it with this beautiful acrylic sealer. And sure, maybe you've seen the top, but you haven't seen it together with the legs. So here's your big reveal right now. Well friends, that was today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I have to say this is probably one of my favorite furniture flips I've ever done because it's fun and it's colorful and I love the challenge of only using things that I already had. So if you want to, like and subscribe. And until next time,
just promise me that you will ruin something in your life with color.